my favorite thing, an email. Oh no, data overage and roaming fees again? Ugh. I wish there was a better way to prevent these. Hi there. Managing company budgets is already hard enough without unexpected mobile data overage and roaming fees showing up on your mobility bill. Whether your organization deals with these fees regularly or you are looking to prevent these charges from happening in the first place, Jamf has a solution. We call it Jamf Data Capping. Throughout this video series, we are going to explore what Jamf Data Capping is, how to deploy the service, and the resources available to you. In this video, Welcome to Jamf Data Capping, we are going to explore exactly how Jamf Data Capping can benefit your organization and take our first look at the Jamf Data Capping portal, also known as Radar. My name is Brayden, and I am thrilled to have you join me for our Get Started with Jamf Data Capping series. Let's get started! Jamf Data Capping is an incredibly capable mobile data and roaming management solution for British Telecom's business mobility customers, powered by the Jamf Security Cloud. Jamf Data Capping allows organizations to accomplish three main goals. Prevent mobile data overages and unintended roaming fees, educate users on their mobile data usage, and reduce financial risk from unexpected data overage and roaming fees. Organizations accomplish all three of these goals by installing the Jamf Trust app. In this seven video series, we are going to walk through configuring Jamf Data Capping, deploying the service, and learn about the reporting tools available. Jamf Data Capping uses a subset of features from another Jamf product, Jamf Data Policy. Jamf Data Policy provides the same mobile data usage and roaming controls as Jamf Data Capping, while also providing content filtering capabilities. Jamf Data Capping can be deployed to users in two ways. The first and most common means of deployment is called Managed Deployment, where organizations leverage a unified endpoint management or UEM solution such as Jamf Pro. UEMs allow organizations to automatically install the Jamf Trust app along with its required settings, avoiding the need of much user interaction. Deploying Jamf Trust to Apple supervised and Android enterprise devices via UEM has the additional benefit of making the app non-removable on device, preventing users from being able to circumvent Jamf data capping. Jamf Data Capping supports all of these UEMs. The second method of deployment is called User Initiated Enrollment. User Initiated Enrollment is utilized by organizations that do not currently use a UEM or are choosing to not leverage it for their Jamf Data Capping deployment. Enrollment is done by administrators sending users either an enrollment URL or having them scan a QR code. In either case, users are going to be directed to install the Jamf Trust app and approve app permissions. Jamf Trust runs on user devices in the background to detect the device's approximate location and track internet usage. Both metrics help to prevent mobile data overages and unexpected roaming fees, while also providing useful reporting and usage notifications to the user. When an organization requests access to Jamf Data Capping, they will receive two welcome emails. The first is going to be sent from success at jamf.com. This email simply thanks your organization for signing up for Jamf Data Capping. The second email is going to be sent from no reply at jamf.com and will ask an administrator to set a password for the Jamf Data Capping portal called Radar. All of Jamf's network security products use Radar as their administrator console. Once Jamf Data Capping is configured in Radar and the Jamf Trust app is installed on user devices, Mobile data traffic is vectored securely through the Jamf Security Cloud. The Jamf Security Cloud can then push information to your organization's radar tenant for reporting and mobile data control. Jamf Data Capping supports iOS, iPadOS, Android, Windows, and macOS devices, ensuring every device in your fleet is protected from unexpected data overage and roaming fees. As we will discover in a later video, when Jamf Data Capping is set up for your organization, Administrators and users alike can receive usage notifications at predefined intervals and when team members reach their data allotment. Additionally, select business applications can be allowed to work even after users hit their mobile data allowance to ensure team members are able to continue working while on the road. Any changes administrators make to Radar will take effect immediately and impact user devices right away. 
let's now shift from conceptual learning to our first technical hands-on exploration of radar. Once you have received your onboarding email and your radar password has been set, sign in to radar by visiting bt-radar.wondera.com to access your organization's radar tenant. Wondera became a part of Jamf as of July 2021. The first time you sign into Radar, you will land on the dashboard. So that will be the first page that we are going to explore. The dashboard gives you a quick overview of organizational statistics, including the countries that devices are active in, the top five data users, the top five roaming countries, and the total amount of mobile data used within the organization. Scrolling down, we have the number of devices enrolled in Jamf data capping broken down by operating system, the percentage of organizational devices enrolled, and some UEM syncing data. In the top right corner, we have a bell icon for announcements, an arrow for report downloads, a question mark to bring us to help documentation, and a gear icon for radar tenant customizations. The menu on the left is where most of this video series will take place. We are going to configure our mobile plan details under policies, sync radar to our UEM under integrations, deploy Jamf data capping to user devices under devices, and review Radar's reporting capabilities under Reports. Before we begin, you may want to set a password policy for Radar or create additional administrator accounts. To set a password policy for Radar, we will navigate to the menu on the left and click Settings, Administrator, Password Policy. A password policy for Radar is a simple tool that organizations can set to ensure that all administrators are meeting a minimum level of security for the Radar account that aligns with your organization's policies. On this page, you can customize your organization's password policy to include character requirements, minimum password lengths, and password expiry durations. To add a new administrator to Radar, navigate back over to the menu on the left and click Manage. Additional administrator accounts are where you can invite your team members to access your organization's Radar tenant. Click New Admin in the top right corner. Enter in the administrator's name and email. Under Type, select Admin or Super Admin. Super Admins have three additional permissions over regular admins. Super Admins can manage other radar administrators, toggle privacy mode on or off, and they have the ability to add additional email addresses to administrator notifications. Optionally, you can set a specific landing page other than the dashboard under Default Landing Page. Next, select the type of notifications this administrator should receive and customize their access permissions at the bottom. Super admins will have access to all permissions, whereas regular admins can have granular access based on their needs. When you are ready to add the new administrator, click Save. Thank you for joining me for our first video, Welcome to Jamf Data Capping, and for starting our Get Started with Jamf Data Capping series. I am thrilled to help your organization manage its mobile data and roaming usage by leveraging Jamf Data Capping. Make sure to join me in our next video, Customize Policies for Jamf Data Capping, where we start preparing for our deployment by configuring Jamf Data Capping policies. See you there!